and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. A subway system in Manhattan, part of the experience here in New York. And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. GA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation while also helping with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, D.A. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Tuesday, they'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. And then on Saturday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Smart is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the center position. And for New York, Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Walker in at the point. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time putting on that Knicks jersey. The game was in Orlando. I played 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then. And I'll never forget that night. Now, here's Walker. No good from outside. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Two points, that one goes. Well, this is what you must do when you get hit on a field goal attempt, right? Schroeder keeps his concentration. What maturity he's demonstrated these last couple of years. Walker against Schroeder. Offensive rebound. Robinson, that's good. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. Walker against Schroeder. Outside Tatum. No one near him. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. This shooting stroke of Jason Tatum is elite. So it matters not if he's creating his own off the dribble, or in this case, just rising and firing off the catch. Now here is Robinson. Offline with the baseline jumper. Tatum against Randall. Tatum with it. Shooter passes to Horford. Shoots over Walker. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Schroeder. We are talking about a very solid passer at his position. Schroeder identifying an open teammate. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford. He's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. Here's Schroeder. Following the basket by Julius Randle. Count that bucket. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Smart against Fournier. Down low. And Randle throws it down. Well, Evan Fournier is a fundamentally sound player. And if his teammates are open, he will deliver the rock. Horford in the post. Guarded by Robinson. Horford, no luck. Ooh, couldn't quite get that one. Four for five. Randall dishes to Walker. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And that one hits back iron. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. up there for Schroeder. Well, this is the Dennis aspect Schroeder. of Tatum's game that is most improving, the ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. 
There's Walker with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Celtics. The pass to Tatum. Back to Schroeder. Outside Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Here's Smart. Nice D from Fournier. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Barrett, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Smart on the wing. Back to Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Tatum against Barrett. Tatum's shot is off. New York's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Barrett finds Walker. And stolen by Horford. And Smart with a clear path to the hole. Remaining in the first. Two now in the scoring column with that Marcus bucket. Smart. One for two this game. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Walker against Schroeder. A shot. And the Knicks miss again. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Smart passes to Horford. That one goes in. Horford. Horford's got his third basket of the night. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Knicks trail by five. Up top Fournier. Started by Smart. Here's Randall. No good on that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. 105 left in the first. Here's Brown. And that one goes long. And Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Randall kicks to Walker. Outside Fournier. Pass to Robinson. Six to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. First team foul. You know, there's an unpredictability about what Evan Fournier does that at keeps defenders guessing. This guy is outstanding at using that to his advantage. The line, Boy, the game of basketball has three. exploded in Europe, and in one country in particular, France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the French national team, and he has got some incredible teammates. And that one falls for Fournier. And a new group in for the Knicks. Taj Gibson's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Nerland's Noel comes in for Julius Randle. Burks, he's checked in for Barrett. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Walker. And a new group in for the Celtics. Innes Canner's checked in for Horford. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. Josh Richardson's checked in for Marcus Smart. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. And the second free throw, good. And he makes all three. 35 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Pritchard. Richardson outside. No good on the three. New York trailing. This is it to Rose. Beyond the arc. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. It's a tie game in New York. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we've seen the improvement for the Knicks under coach Tom Thibodeau. His star, Julius Randle, defines Tibbs' approach. 
cares about you as a human being, as a person. He wants to see you uh, really excel as a player. And he knows that the only way to do that is through the grind, through hard work, through putting the hours and the effort in day after day. So that's his thing. Um, he's going to push you, push you in practice, push you in workouts. And uh, he's your biggest fan when you're out there on the court. He is indeed in that effort and grittiness, something we've seen from Thibodeau's teams over the years. And Knicks fans recognize that brand of basketball. You think back to the years with Ewing and Oakley in the middle, it fits in the Big Apple. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. Alec Burks is out there at Nerland's Noel. Then there's Jarrett Rose. Then it's Taj Gibson. And it's quickly in at the two. There the group New York will start the second one. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons, but last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. And with their young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, their upside in a lot of people's view remain. David, thanks. For Boston, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Richardson attacking. There's Williams. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Pass to Gibson. Quickly against Richardson. Now, quickly. Shot clock at six. Can't hit from 12. Richardson outside. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Over Noel. Goes back up. And Gibson sends it back. Boy, Gibson's so good at timing these rejections. Twice on the pipes from Taj. Here's Rose. The 15-footer. Good. Rose has got the game tied up here for the Knicks. And the NBA trying to cut down on some of the cheap fouls. Certain players are experts at selling contact. Doris, are you sad to see that, that art form curtailed? <laughs> I'm not at all, Kevin, because what we're seeing is offensive players manipulate the rule and get outside of, quote, natural basketball plays. Guys who dead stop off a screen and end up getting three free throws. We have to take that away. Things should flow naturally in a basketball game. So here's Burks. After Ennis Canner's basket, Burks. And he gets Boston the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Let's take a look at last year's leading shot five. blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Merlin's Noel is second. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. Free throw good, Burks. Alec Burks continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two guard. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Robinson's checked in for Gibson. Julius Randle comes in for Noel. Barrett's checked in for Quickly. And Walker subbed in for Rose. And a new group in for the Celtics. Al Horford, he's checked in for Ennis Kinton. Tatum comes in for Brown. Smart's checked in for Richardson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Pritchard. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. And Tatum the bucket on the assist from Smart. And the Celtics lead by two. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And you think back to that 2017 draft. Scouts trying to poke holes in Tatum's game. But really, he just needed a little time to develop his skills and get stronger. And it's Schroeder missing. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Randall dishes to Walker. Now the pass to Burks. One up, 
One down, two points with his first shot this game. And without naming names, it feels like Tatum, you know, is starting to dominate other all-stars at his position. And now his game is so complete, regularly over 40% in the three. He can drive it, post you up. The only success the Fenders have is when they guess right. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Walker looking for an opening. Pass to Randall. 137 left now here in the second. Walker's shot is off. Celtics have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Here's Tatum. The Celtics keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Schroeder finds Williams. Now here's Tatum. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Tatum's got the lead up to five now for Boston. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Walker. Passes to Burks. Schroeder against Randall. Shots over Schroeder. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got six. The ability to get to the mid-range game is something Julius Randall has proven he can do. Outside Tatum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first play. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Oh, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Well, Doris, he's already a great scorer, and now Tatum has become an incredibly efficient scorer. Two shots. Well, listen, the great ones are not only about putting up numbers, it's how efficiently you do it. From three, from the free throw line, this guy is so much more consistent. And yes, he's got the mid-range game that he can go to in tough spots. This guy plays big at the rim. He's everything you want offensively. First one falls for him. Well, Jason Tatum made it clear from the outset of his career he would be a player in the NBA. But it was year three where you saw that drastic increase. He went from 15 to 23 points and was named to his first All-Star game. And New York making a change here. Fournier has checked in. And so Tatum nails them both. Knicks trail by five. Walker the pass to Randall. Inside Robinson. And a wide open look for Walker. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Walker's got a second bucket tonight. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Tatum against Barrett. Now here's Tatum. He's got nine. And he drives in. R.J. Barrett has the kind of physical abilities to contest shots, and he is aggressive on the defensive end right now. And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. It's the Celtics. They're up by three. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau. Tibbs, some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? Better defense. We keep allowing them to get second shots. Defensive transition. Not challenging those shots properly. So we don't play defense. We can't win. And we'll see if your guys can stick to the script better in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, if you compare the assist numbers, you could see who's been the superior team. 
and they're playing a much better brand of basketball. That holds well for them the rest of the way. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the bench so far. Their scoring has given them a real spark. I think we can expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the court for the Celtics. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Horford in at the five. Down low. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Brown against Randall. Shoots over Brown. Randall no good. Celtics leading by three. And out of bounds as the next game possesses. Looking now at some numbers here for Randall. He's coming off an excellent season. 12th in rebounding, 19th in scoring. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And we talked about how strong he was on the boards, going hard at it at both ends last year, really helping out his team. Now here's Randall. Six points for him. Smart on the wing. Guarded by Walker. Outside Tatum. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Schroeder. It's rebounded by Barrett. And Barrett has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. It's a three-point game. And here's Walker outside. They grab their own miss. And Barrett slams it in. Yeah, R.J. Barrett just refusing to give up on the possession. Creates an opportunity off the window. Nicely done. Brown feeling it out a bit. That shot, no good. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Walker's shot is off. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Now that he's attracting so much defensive attention, Greg, Brown is routinely getting others involved. And how about his assist numbers have skyrocketed? And it's really not surprising. His sole focus is doing what's best for the team. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Robinson kicks to Barrett. Bobbed up there for Robinson, an emphatic L.U. jam. Guys, he's such a big target on the alley. You throw it up, Mr. Robinson, the only one in the building who can catch it and finish. So the Celtics call timeout their first. And it's not talked about all that much, but Barrett makes a huge contribution on the glass. Right, he's aggressive, he's instinctive, he has added good weight, and the athleticism to beat people to those 50-50 balls is important. Your next city dancer. Gibson's checked in for Robinson. Nerland's Noel comes in for Julius Randle. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for Barrett. And it's Rose in for Kemba Walker. Then for the Celtics, Cantor is checked in for Horford. Richardson comes in for Marcus Smart. And it's Pritchard in for Dennis Schroeder. 
Now here's Tatum. Nine points in the game so far. Clock is at three. Over Gibson. Boston again missing. It was an ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. And the shot goes down. And it's a three-point Knicks lead. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pritchard passes the block. Pass to Cannon. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. New York leading by three. There's the pass to quickly. You can't get that one. Great D that time from Tatum. For Boston, they've gone over five to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. Cantor trying to free himself up. Tatum's shot is off. The Knicks have gone three and seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Fournier banked in off the glass. Fournier. Fournier's got the lead up to five now for New York. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And here is Tatum. Nine points in the game so far. Unable to get that one. Two minutes remaining. Fournier against Brown. A 15-footer. Second chance shot. And the basket by Rose. Rose has got his second basket of the night. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And, Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Here's Pritchard, still looking for his first bucket in this one. When you think about how Derrick Rose has changed Greg as a player, you see some of that in almost every facet of his game. And yeah, over the years, he's tuned his shooting and play style in lots of little ways. But what hasn't changed is his talent for setting guys up. He's got a great eye for when and where to drop the dime. Now the Knicks with it. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Rose gets to quickly. Pass to Fournier. Cantor against Noel. Here's quickly. The rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Pritchard. Around the pass to Cantor. Over Rhodes. Cantor's shot is off. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Passes it to Brown. Inside. There's Williams. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And now just a three-point Knicks lead. 
But showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Now here's Rhodes. Second shot opportunity. Williams with the block. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Round the pass to Cannon. One second left, and he sinks the layup. Cantor. Cantor's got four this quarter. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Knicks lead by one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. We've reached the fourth quarter. And what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And New York looking at who they've got. Sharing the wing spots. Fournier and Barrett. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. And it's Walker in at the point. Now here's Smart after R.J. Barrett's miss. to take the lead. Robinson with the block. This guy's nose for the basketball and his timing as a shot blocker is intimidating. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt and let's hope he's okay. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That Just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked, doing everything he can to help his team, just heartbreaking. The Knicks making a switch here. Toppins checked in. Catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. Walker's shot is off. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. That's his first person. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach you've seen so far for the Celtics? And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. Knox, he's checked in for Toppin. And in terms of the mid-range game, Brown has joined a very elite crowd. Yeah, no doubt. This guy is both prolific and proficient. He has worked so hard on the short area dribble, the shot release so much more consistent, as is his focus. Now, here's Fournier. 
six on the shot clock. From 11 feet away, and again, it's the Knicks missing. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Brown, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. Well, the mid-range is something Jalen Brown entered the NBA with. He looks very comfortable in that spot. Walker with it, picked up by Brown. Walker's shot is off. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Smart misses. Knicks trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Knicks ball as New York Knicks keeps ball. possession of it. Burks, he's checked in for Kevin Knox. Austin also with the sub. Tatum's checked in. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Randall finds Burks. Five on the clock to the middle. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Barrett. Well, you talk about a gifted finisher. RJ Barrett's soft touch on the interior. Here's Tatum, and the dunk by Tatum. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. All right, and wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. But the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Outside Tatum shoots the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Randall kicks to Walker. It's a nice passing by New York here. Outside Fournier. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. For Boston, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Almond here now for an injury report. Now, for an update on Mitchell Robinson's injury, we go to David Aldridge. Well, guys, I was able to catch up with the Knicks head athletic trainer. He told me it's a sprained elbow. Now, they put some ice on it, and they're hoping that he doesn't have any inflammation. This is never the way you want to lead off, but they have no choice. They still have to play the games. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury break. Yeah, it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Now a timeout called by Boston. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. player of the game, Dennis Schroeder. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. That one goes. Count it. This guy is always poised, always ready to deliver. Doesn't matter how tense the game is. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And he has not been on his game here. He's forcing a lot of shots, and the team is suffering because of it. It's time for him to focus on getting his teammates involved.
And so it's Rose bringing it up for the New York Knicks. Trailing by two. Barrett with the ball. Pass to Gibson. Outside Rose. Six to shoot. It's Fournier on the wing. Over Smart. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Celtics have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. There's 126 left to play here in the fourth. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Now it's a five-point Celtic lead. Uh, Dennis Schroeder has proven historically he is unafraid in big moments and he delivers big time. Back to Randall. Over Tatum. And Tatum pulls it down. Austin leading by five. To the paint. And finished off by Horford. One thing you can't afford is to allow Al Horford to get to this spot. It's over if you do. New York's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Randall passes to Rose. Back to Randall. There's 48 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside, smart. Kicks it to Schroeder. Tatum against Randall. Randall with some nice D. And it would take divine intervention for them now to get back in it. Yeah, I'd have to say, guys, I don't think the man upstairs is really focused on the comeback. And the Knicks miss again. And here's Boston. Schroeder looking around. It's the Celtics picking up the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Al. The coach mentioned he wanted to come into this building and do whatever was necessary to win. Did you think you guys had the intensity to get that done? Yeah, no question. I, I like the energy from our team from the beginning. Um, you know, uh, to be able to come in here and, and get a win like this, it, it feels good. Great row win tonight, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.